Today I want to share with you my balls in the air theory of life. It's really quite simple, but it may just change life as you know it. See, we've all got these five balls, and the idea is to keep all of them in the air at once. First, you've got your health ball. If that one's on the ground, you can forget all the others. Then comes your work ball, which a lot of people confuse with the money ball, but it's not the same thing. My part-time job at the Waverly Diner is my money ball, but my real work ball is my writing, my creativity. This show, for instance, because that's what I enjoy. You're very fortunate if your work ball and your money ball are both in the air at the same time. Are you following this? Okay. Now we have the maintenance ball. Flossing, tweezing, buying tampons, managing dysfunctional divorced parents, raking the kitty litter. It's a pain in the ass, but you've got to do these things. If you let them go, they can totally bring down your other balls. So let's see. Maintenance ball, work ball, money ball, health ball. What have I left out? Roxy, you're beginning to pucker. Don't dawdle. And I shouldn't tell you this, but that lump Adam called. He wants you to call him back. Thanks, Mother. Well, are you going to? Mother, I'm just trying to relax in the tub here. Okay, okay, okay. I know what I left out, the love ball. This is a tough one to juggle. Actually, this is the one ball of mine that is not, strictly speaking, in the air. I mean, I was spending a lot of time with Adam, so I neglected my friends. I didn't make plans with anyone but him. Nobody called me for weeks. When you're not dating someone or when you've been dumped, you call your friends all the time and complain about it. Then you get involved in a relationship and immediately stop calling your friends. The worst is when you've been together a really long time and turn your lover into a friend, then who do you call? See, you can never have all five balls in the air at once. Never. Nobody ever does. This is Roxy Walensky, and I just want to smack somebody. Oh, yeah, I'm behind you all the way. Next time, boxers or jockeys? Could the answer be more obvious?